Hello and welcome to this week's episode of True Crime Tales. Today, we'll be exploring the disturbing story of Diago Alves, a Spanish-born Portuguese serial killer who terrorized the community in the mid-19th century. Diogo Alves was a notorious serial killer who terrorized the Portuguese community in the mid-19th century. Born in Spain, he eventually made his way to Portugal and settled in the area surrounding the Iguas Livers Aqueduct. It was here that he began his killing spree, which lasted from 1836 to 1840 and claimed the lives of 70 innocent people. The crimes committed by Alves were particularly heinous and he quickly became known as the Aqueduct Murderer due to the location of his killings. His brutal methods and callous disregard for human life made him a feared figure in the community, and the people lived in constant fear of encountering him. Despite the efforts of law enforcement to track down and capture the killer, it seemed as though Alves was always one step ahead. It wasn't until 1840 that he was finally apprehended and brought to trial for his crimes. During his trial, the evidence against Alves was overwhelming. Witnesses testified to seeing him at the scenes of several murders, and forensic evidence linked him to many of the killings. In the end, there was no doubt that he was guilty, and he was sentenced to death by hanging. On February 19, 1841, Diogo Alves was put to death for his crimes. His execution was carried out in front of a large crowd, who watched in horror as the killer took his final breath. After his death, Alves' head was separated from his body and placed in a flask for preservation. It was believed that studying the head of such a notorious killer could provide valuable insights into the mind of a serial killer, and so it was kept for scientific purposes. Today, the preserved head of Diogo Alves is a popular tourist attraction, and many people visit just to catch a glimpse of the infamous aqueduct murderer. While the killings he committed may have happened over 180 years ago, the memory of his heinous crimes lives on, serving as a reminder of the darkness that can exist within the human soul. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tune in next week for another chilling episode of True Crime Tales.